Hello, my good friends, and welcome to episode two of Patreon Picks. The rules for these clears are nice and simple, so at the start, let's go over the work. Any of you good Patreon folk can pick games for me to do. Message me anywhere and let me know what title you'd like me to have a look at. The game needs to be realistically doable in less than two hours. Um, that means the actual video two hours. I'll obviously spend a lot longer than that, kind of prepping it and playing it and stuff. But a good a good 90 minutes, kind of less than two hours. It's like a film minute, do you know what I mean? Anything longer than two hours, I'm not interested. So like a 90 minute one, I'm, I can kind of get into that. I've got a nice amount of time. But longer than two hours, I'm like, eh. And, uh, and yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's tough. It's tough for me to go two hours that I'm not having a, a cup of tea, to be honest with you. Um, these clears aren't finally one credit clears. I think I said last week, but I'll, go, I'll probably go over this at the start of everyone, to be honest. Yeah, I'm using the uh, the pocket money rule. So yeah, as a young kid growing up, I got two quid a week pocket money, and I never let myself spend more than two pound on any arcade as a result. Um, every arcade I grew up playing was 20p a credit, so I came up with that thing. I um, used to get seven for a quid, so 14. Um, so 14 is the maximum number of credits that I'll, I'll, I'll try and get these clears under. Because to be honest with you, like, there's a lot of games that are one credit, but but there's a lot of other games that aren't, if I'm being honest. And people say, oh, well, you're ghouls and ghosts in our type. But yes, but they're hard but fair. Whereas, like, games like it, or games like this, that we're going to have a look at today, uh, Data East Mutant Fighter is hard and unfair. So, I mean, uh, I'd never get the chance to do this normally, and I've wanted to do this for ages. Okay. This week's challenge, as I said, comes from long-term fan of the channel, The Exile, who asked me to take a look at what is coincidentally one of my favourite arcade games of all time. As I said, 1992's Mutant Fighter by Data East, or Death Braid, if you want the uh, the beautiful bit of uh, English on the Japanese version. It's a half fighting, half wrestling, uh, mythology based kind of lost classic, really. There's eight selectable characters and then some bosses to take care of as we try and win the tournament and take control of the land. Now, they had this game in an arcade in Matlock Bath quite randomly uh, when I was growing up, and it later appeared in the local arcade that was at the end of my street. Uh, just everything about it's awesome. It legitimately stands up as one of my favourite titles from this era, this kind of early 90s arcade era. I spent ages looking for it when I first got back into emulation. And do you know what? I still don't know how I found out what it was called. Um, but yeah, I'm so glad that I did. Uh, Thanks to each and every one of you good people, incidentally, for your support with One Credit Classics and Patreon. It makes a huge difference to the run of this channel, and it means I can do this thing a lot easier. So yeah, thanks again for your support. Check out the links in the description box. Amazon affiliate, and yeah, well obviously you've checked out Patreon if you're here. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's that. So Mutant Fire, Data East. I'm gonna. Get... The good thing as well is with a multiple credit clear is we'll get a look, uh, a look at a lot of characters, which is cool because they're all really different. But yeah, that is it. Uh, that is details. I'm gonna get into a lot of fights and drop a lot of people squarely on their heads. Let's do this, shall we? Right, let's do this, shall we? First things first. Fourteen credits, two quid. We'll start with uh, Hercules, who sounds like Braun Strowman for my money. And first fight, we'll go for the Minotaur. Attack quickly, he gets stronger. Thanks. I have basically got two buttons in this. I've got punch and I've got kind of, well, kick, kind of stroke, jump, and attack. Get that. You can see above it, below, below my name and below his, below my name and below his name, there is like a bar with triangles in it. Uh, that fills up to the top. Uh, if you get that all the way up to the top, you'll find you'll do like a, uh, you can do a super, uh, super throw, which is just the best part of the entire game, to be honest with you. Oh! Hercules works incredibly stiff. My favorite character, to be honest with you. Oh, hey, oh, bloody hell, British Bulldog. Come on, there you go, stiff. Now, you see, that's another good thing. You grapple like with walls like that. You find that a lot of Hercules, see, a lot of Hercules and stuff like that doesn't matter. Now, you see, he's got Super Throw next to his name, so he could engage the Super Throw if he gets a grapple off. So I really need to try and hang on. There you go. Stick that. Absolutely roided up to pieces. No drug testing here. Right. Hmm. Werewolf. Uh, quick and wins a lot of grapple. Now you see that the levels change, the levels change a little bit. Um, you see it looks similar. That was quite sweet. But it's got these kind of like ball things. If I punch one of them, what happens is it spins around and like you can get it by it. See, he's a nightmare. He doesn't do a lot of damage, but he's dead hard to win grapples against him. And he does that a lot. Oh, what about him then? The thing with, with punch attacks, you've got to be wary of. 
that you've got to be dead wary of punch attacks is that they don't do a lot of damage, get that, but they build up their super bar quite a lot. Uh, and that is the real kind of danger with it. Um, because the computer will let super attacks quite a lot. So, getting their super bar built all the way off is a, a dangerous thing to do. See, we're both at that point now where... Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ow. See, now both the super attacks are propped. I'm going to try and get this. Come here. I just want to scream at him. Here we go. Steph. <laughs> you are a bug to me, shouts there. Which is, uh, it's just sick, in it? Everybody shouts something different. And every character in the game has got a different one. Which is cool, apart from the last boss. Get that. That was pretty decent, wasn't it? Oh, right, who's next? Uh, Beast, right? Because we've done Minotaur and Werewolf. Yeah, special skill and neck breakers. He's a bit of an all-rounder. Um, now, this level's pretty tough because you get these things that come out of the ground. Uh, you see now my energy bar is bigger. As you go through the levels, that's nothing to do with difficulty settings or anything like that. As you go through the levels, you find that the uh, uh, your energy bars just get bigger, like both of you, which is a cool kind of touch, really, because it elongates. It wouldn't be fair if theirs just got bigger, I think. Um, but, I mean, it's 80s games. Who cares about fairness, really, I guess? 80s, 90s games. But... The thing is, like, it, uh, the thing with it is, is like, uh, it, it, like, it's a kind of nice thing, really, because you're kind of getting rewarded for getting further in the game with a longer game. Do you know what I mean? Because like, it's gonna take you longer, right? Right. Oh, that suplex is so. St I think because it's only got like three frames of animation. Oh no! Nice, he's got a super throw up now. Do get mine, really? But that's the danger, like. See, now I don't mind it with them jump knees, you see. But... Oh. Yeah, see, that's always a good cancel for him. Come on. Come on. It's a risk, fuck it. Oh, shit. Oh, God almighty, that is. Come on. Say what you want, you're still a bug to me, son. Jesus Christ, that does a lot of damage. And you get a splash in afterwards. Come on. Come on. Oh, I think that's it, is it? Oh, it's a shame. Not bad. Not bad innings, though. The third one's right where the difficulty ramps up. Let's have a go with the fighter. He's quite cool. Get him. Loves a bit of wrestling. Oh. Check him out. Headbutt. Got a good line in suplex. Come on, hit a suplex. Or oh, get a neck break. It's up to you, really. Come on. I mean, look at that. Beautiful. Dead. I'm happy with that. So now we get another screen of three, and you see the first of the unselectable characters, the Hydra. But we'll have him last. Okay, uh, we'll go for uh, the dragon first. You will be now. Oh. now, the, the fight is kind of uh, good, to be honest. I really do rate him. Um, he's probably my second favorite character. Um, he's got a nice kind of balance. Oh, this just level is just a, like a, a wrestling ring type thing. You can get slung off the, uh, the old turnbuckle. Beautiful. That's nice as well. Come on. Hey, I'm breaking out. This dragon's breaking out every wrestling move in the book. Come on. When you win a grapple, you really want. You really want to try and make the most of it. Come on. Nice. Done a bit of judo. Come on. Ugh. Oh, stiff. Activated both the super throws. Let's see if we can get him. Get it. Oh, stiff. No, 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 no. Have I blocked that? Yeah, just. Oh, I don't know how this works, to be honest with you. Ah, oh, well, I blocked it twice. Probably not so much third. Jesus. That's you done, innit? Giant dragon set me on fire. Yeah, I think I'm done here. Yeah, that's it. Fucking hell, that's tough. Right, um... Um... Get the 
Randy Orton looking Minotaur out. Minotaur's good. Very strong. Nice. Look at that. Solid. Minotaur's a nice balance of power and, and strength, really. You love to rates of rates of tear up as well. Come on. Oh, come on, ref. <laughs> Kind of much left here. Beautiful. Randy Orton. <laughs> Solid. Right. Is it a uh, Gollum next? Is it? Oh God. He's kind of done with that fighting him. To be honest, he's so hard. It's just awkward. Very awkward to fight. Really cumbersome. Come on. A lot of this as well as you can see we're on a level made out of ice um, and it's made out of ice with uh, like spikes on the wall I should have done that really you see what's on about punches and kicks like it's battle of wills now though I'm just being a stubborn dickhead it's going to get me slammed on the head yeah but you see what I mean with punches and kicks now as fun as it is get that as fun as it is to uh, stand in the pocket and bang it out with somebody, inevitably you do no damage and you build up the... Hey, up! You do no damage and then you just build a super bar kind of the whole way up the top. I've got to make the most out of this here. Surely. Come on. Oh! If you cancelled that. That was fairly decent, to be honest. See, I hate fighting this guy. You just hardly have it. Jesus Christ. Yeah, like Vader. Rest his soul there. Uh, Vader special, that power bomb, right? Get dragging him. Come on. Jesus, swung around by the tail. Fucking hell. Harsh. Did so much damage. Tough ass, this golem. Proper fucking credit sapper, isn't he? Come on. Come on. Nice. Whatever that was. Come on. Nice. All for him, obviously. I just like that animation, to be honest with you. Like, <laughs> Right. A super move would be massive here. Take a big chunk of his energy. It's just unthrowable, this prick. Come down here, son. Come on. It's alright, it's alright. Oh, I'm not happy if I can't get a super throw off here. It'll make such a big difference. Come on, come on. Fucking joke. Yeah, I'm getting wrecked by this golem. Really badly. Right, enough pissing about. Get Hercules in on it. Come on. You want to wrestle, do you, son? Get that. Come on. And again. And again. Ugh. This golem off. Come on. Nice. Oh, Jesus. It's just constantly getting it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, nice. And a splash as well. Right. See? Done quite a bit of damage. See, it's a difference with someone like Hercules. And again, splash. Yeah, see, you don't have to do a lot to get quite... There's quite a bit of damage you've got off him now. Come on. Oh. Fucking hell. Does a lot of damage. To be fair, though, I mean, I reckon one... Uh, yeah, I was going to say. One, you're a bug to me, super tombstone might do him. I've got to hit it first, though, right? Come on. Right, I've got one shot at this. Come on. Fuck it, let's have it. Come on, come on, come on. Here we go. There you go, son. Sit down. Oh. Unlucky. Right, I mean, that's a solid. I'm happy with that. Hydra. Now we get to the non-controllable characters. Can't be Hydra. Oh, 
I love the way with Hydra, like, uh, it's got, like, a special move, which is kind of cool. And uh, it's, like, five words. It says something like, our power is very strong. It's, like, a different voice each one is because it's, like, five heads. Yeah, tough. Tough fighting the Hydra, to be honest with you. You just got to take what you can get. You can grapple with it. That's the thing that I kind of respect about this. Like, it would have been dead easy to just do boss characters and not draw animations with them. But you can, like, it's worth grappling with them. Because you can, especially with someone like Kirk, who does a lot of damage. Come on. That stuff on the floor. If I... Oh, no. Oh, Jesus. Torture rack. You don't need that. Come on. Oh. Get that. Friggin' hit the Hydra with a tombstone. You'd be happy with that. Come on. Yeah, those are marks on the floor. If I get hit by them, then I hit uh, uh, that. Oh! Suplex on that Hydra. Stiff. Hurricane arse. Banging it out. Jesus. I didn't need that. Yeah. I've made a dent in him, though, and that's what you got to do with this. Come on. Go on, Eric. Sick. You were a bug. A very big bug, but a bug still, nonetheless. Go on. Come on. Come on. Oh, I'm so on this now. Comeback's on. Go on, Eric. Go oh, no, 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 no. Oh, fucking hell. Ah, oh, well. It's good while it lasted. Hang on. No, did he try and throw it? Yeah, he tried and threw me then. Did he throw me then? Did he? Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh! Go on, Eric. Oh, my God. I'm well up for this. Go on. Tombstone him. Come on. Oh, no. Oh! That would it. Come on. No, splash. Oh, come on, something. Come on. That was legit, wasn't it? Tombstone to Hydra. Right, the doppelganger. Oh, God. Absolute credit sink, this. So, yeah. Turns into you, right? I apologize in advance, because a big part of this commentary is just going to be... Um... Me going, was that me? No. All right, I'm checking the energy bar. It's, oh, God, it's just an absolute nightmare. Right. Come on. It's just impossible to win. He's impossible to win. He grapples with it. All your moves do no damage. It's such a credit sink, this is. Oh, and that's him as well, is it? Of course it is. Come on. Hey. Oh, I thought I had that then. You can see the difference though, like, him doing moves on me builds my super bar up way more than it builds his up. Come on! Okay, sit down! Right, let's see. Did absolutely, what did about like 15%? Like, nice. It's not too bad. Is that me? No. Like, I told you. Just a lot of that. You're almost like thankful when like, the next one's like here. Uh, it's just his own creature, do you know what I mean? This one's just a fucking nightmare. Come on. <sighs> right, and again. No. Oh, no. Beautiful. Come on. Oh, that's him. Be it well, it's not me, is it? Okay, kill me, is it? I'm not far off. And obviously, he doesn't stay as Hercules, so, um... If I pick somebody else, he'll change into somebody else. He rates that, doesn't he? It was pretty good, if I'm being honest. Right. Um. Yeah. I like that bring to eat. Oh. I mean, I've hit him there, but still. It hasn't done a lot, has it, really? Oh, nice. See? Oh, no, no, no. Any, any damage is bonus damage on this. Because there isn't that many more. There's another two people after this. So credits-wise, I'll tell you what's won this clear. Like, uh, or so far, I shouldn't really jinx that. But for me, what's probably won it, because I reckon I've got enough to do this, even how hard this is, I'll just chip it in, uh, is how well we went on at the start with uh, with Hercules. Right, that was me. Yes, right. God almighty. That's him. Yes. Come on. Jesus Christ, right. 
Um, come on. Nice. Keep going. Keep going. He's up to a super throw now, though. I'm not far off, though. If I could hit a super throw, that'd be big. That's him. Right. Super throw, come on. Is that me? Yeah, I think that's me. That is me. Shit. I've got to quite a bit of damage. He's nearly done here. Come on. I don't care what I hit him with now, as long as I hit him with something. Is that it? Yeah. Got him. Jesus Christ. See what I mean now, though? That is really hard. Like, that's a legitimately tough fight. Honor the demon. Uh, yeah, tough. Pazuzu, quite randomly. Uh, got a wide selection of moves. Like, he's got, I mean, see, that's one of mine. He's got kind of one of everyone's. You fight him in this kind of spiked kind of arena. Um, he's odd, don't get me wrong, but I don't know. He just, that doppelganger just seems unfair, to be honest with you. Oh, oh shit. Never mind. Pitch me straight into it in lawn dart. Right. See, that's one of the golems, right? So he's got kind of stuff from everyone. Um, come on. That's. I think that's one of Hercules. That's one of the dragons. Like, it's just it's it's basically bits of everyone's. Come on. And that's one of mine, son. That does quite a bit of damage. That's the thing, like, he gives a bit, but he takes a bit as well, him. Um, shit. Oh, God, face first. You don't need that, do you? don't need that at all. Shit. Ugh. Right, let's chip at him with somebody. I like how he shouts my arena. Beat him with a bit of hassle. Come on, son. Oh, beautiful. Taxburg hassle. Hey, up. Solid. I mean, you hit yourself, but still. I like how he Brit. That was sick. Like an airplane spin into like a German. Oh, it's unlucky. That would have been serious. Get that. See, that's one of mine. Hey, up. I didn't know he had that. Even all these years on, you're still learning something. Come on. Nice. That was nice, wasn't it? Must be knee drop, unfortunately. I mean, I'm taking him to school here. It's an absolute hassle clinic. Oh. I'll take that. I'd rather that than that big super throw, to be honest with you. No. No, I'm fine with that. Come on. No. Oh. I ain't far off my super throw here. Come on. Jeez. Not fun. Come on. Sorry. I do like that bullet like animation. Come on. Yeah, get that. You big wing dickhead. Don't. Oh, never mind. I, I hit him. That's all that matters. Beautiful. <laughs> so I love it. Fighter guys just got absolute textbook wrestling. Come on. A couple of grapples I can. No. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, that was stiff as anything. Oh, a mesh floor as well. Fuck that. Right, how many credits have we got left? Six. This is getting quite close, actually. Um, just dragging him to death. Legitimately gonna be dragging these nuts over his fucking face when I drop him on his head. Oh, I mean, I couldn't have called that much better, could I? Holy shit, that was sick. Stiff, bloody hell. Dragons come in like fucking Danny Spivey, just stiff as anything. Two big power bombs and geezer dead. Right, and final boss, the Archmage. I warn you in advance, the most annoying thing about this guy is the fact that he just keeps saying the word magic. <clears throat> it 
His thing is that grapples wise, he's rubbish. He's got one throw that he doesn't hit a lot, basically, which is that one. Like, it was my fault for being a bit slower in the uptake there. Um, but if you can, the, the whole thing, as you might imagine, is getting close to him. If you get too close, he walks like that, you see. So, yeah, annoying, this guy. Annoying more than tough, if I'm being honest. Make the use of kind of being able to kind of run. But he does do quite a bit of damage. Like a lot of his match, the lightning bolt's the most painful one. I mean, that is, it's going to get me wrong, but. And that's not ideal. Come on. Teleport, yeah. Imagine running that coin here. Go on. Solid. I mean, I got it, but still hit him. I got this get a super throw in that yeah, deal. He's fairly easy to, if you get hold of him, he's fairly easy to super throw. Come on. Come on. Yeah, get that. And he's wearing basically, do you know what I mean? Basically like a, a long cape. I've just set it. He's done here. Set the geezer on fire. To be fair for it, for it, like, usually see wizards and stuff, like, do you know what I mean? He's like frail old types. For a wizard, he's absolutely jacked, isn't he? Reminds me of that bit, that memory where it's like, uh, oh, where it's like, if you put all your points in intellect and strength, he's got like a wizard who's absolutely jacked. Here he is. You ain't gonna be too strong. You ain't gonna be quite so, uh, quite so full of beans when a sick Braun Strowman on your son. Oh, get that. Come on. Look at this hoss. Oh, Jesus, that is. Do you know what I mean? Come on now. Oh, come on. What's he had? 60% of his bar there. Jesus. Yeah, I need to do that a bit more. Clear ground. Oh, is that still? Oh, surely that didn't count. Come on. Get that, old man. He can't have... Right. Oh, Jesus. Go on, Eric. I thought he'd do that. Oh, I did well there. Come on. Come on. Sit down. And... Th oh, no, he's still alive. Splash. And that, my good friends, is a uh, nine credits sort of as advertised. And that is Mutant Fighter by Data East. You won the tournament. You now rule the whole kingdom. Rest for now, brave fighter king, until a new challenger comes. The battle is never ending. Sick, right? There's a two-player mode on that. Um, and you can do either versus or you can do co-op. So you'll fight like two, uh, two, uh, two on two basically, which is really good. Uh, me and my boy Rez used to, when we first got into emulating, uh, me and my boy Rez used to play two player mutant fighter all the time. It's a proper laugh, uh, and it still stands up now. Um, like I say, uh, the great thing with these Patreon picks is the fact that like it might be games I've wanted to do for ages. Like, I mean, how doable is that on one credit? I don't know that it is to be honest. I've seen one credit runs, but I mean. I haven't seen them on channels that I know are legit. Like, I know World of Long Plays isn't legit. Like, they say about the thing about using, like, like, uh, uh, tool-assisted stuff. Do you know what I mean? And, like, I'm not really that arsed about that. Like, I, I don't... Like, it... Something... I'm not saying it's unbeatable, but what I'm saying is there's probably so many situations that are gonna... You're gonna need a million-to-one run, and do you know what? I just ain't got the time, unfortunately. Let me just, uh... Bobby me name in for posterity over here. Solid. Still got five credits in as well. Um, so that is... Nice. Data East Mutant Fighter, or Death Braid, if you're playing the Japanese version. Look it up, because it is a load of fun. Uh, it's Saturday, isn't it? Hopefully you're having a lovely day. Um, it's... Uh, on the day I'm recording this, it's a lovely day, but they've all been lovely recently. Like, I almost picked the... Like, I picked it on purpose. I almost picked the best time to... Like, in an airplane, where well, like, ah, I picked the wrong time to stop huffing glue. Like, I picked the right time to get made redundant, because it's been, like, the most endless summer of my entire life. 
literally all I've done is just sleep and eat toast and play video games and hang out with my dogs and walk in the sun and yeah it's been really good really really good I hope you good people are well I hope you're having a good Saturday and we will be back next Wednesday for if possible an even longer episode of One Credit Classics yeah that's right we're closing in on two hours for this next one it's big it's very very big I hope you enjoyed the Sonic 2 video if you've got if you're on Patreon send me some messages about games you want me to do if you are not on Patreon then get on Patreon do you know what I mean pay two dollars a month what's that like one pound twenty or something probably even less at the time of reading this because we're probably going to dip do you know what I mean something to do with Brexit's going to happen they're going to have wrecked like another chocolate bar institution Brexit will have wrecked the toffee crisp and then the pound will be worth like magic beans so by the time you write this just send me some magic beans um or failing that just sign up to Patreon like I say two dollars a month like uh, I mean what even is that or four if you want a load of cool stuff or six if you want a load of cool stuff I mean it's really completely up to you uh, but check it out, and if you're on there, you'll be uh, you'll be watching this video. And if not, it'll be like five weeks in the future, and you'll be watching this video and be like, "Oh, all these all these Patreon videos. I wonder if I can keep up uh, keep abreast of them all." Well, on Patreon, obviously. Uh, what else? And check out our Amazon affiliate scheme as well. Um, there's a link in the description box below. I am going to drink some tea. Um, what is it? Saturday. I'll have probably just got in from training, so I'm going to see which one which. Uh, which parts of my body don't work, and then uh, have a bath and hope that that fixes it, because it seems to fix everything. And then, uh, well, I'm going to make some more videos, aren't I? You take very, very good care of yourselves, and I'll see you on the next episode of One Credit Classics. Take care.